안녕하세요. Welcome to today's live class. 오늘은 3월 20일, 20일 금요일입니다. So after this live chat or live class, live stream session is over, I'm going to go over everything and actually write down all the time codes for all the detailed topics that I talk about so that if you're watching this after the live stream has ended, you can rewatch with more ease, okay? Perfect. Hello. Widiani Clara is the first person to come in and say hello. 안녕하세요. <laughs> 안녕하세요. Lindsay. Nada. 안녕하세요. Perfect. So, 안녕하세요. 현우 쌤. Okay, more and more people are coming in. Uh, we have already more than 100 people joining. Today, in this live class, we are going to talk about five very useful sentence patterns that you can use to form Korean sentences, and we are going to build Korean sentences together. Great. <laughs> Sugar. Okay, this. I have two mice or a trackpad and a mouse, so I'm a little bit confused which one to touch. Okay, so you look exactly like my biology professor, and boy, I'm having a deja vu. <laughs> Do I look like your professor? Okay, you have a very good looking professor if I may say so. <laughs> okay, great. Where are you watching? Um, what country are you watching from? You guys are already posting. 프랑스, 지금 그리스도 있고요. 태국도 있어요. 독일. 독일? Ah, yeah. It's not like in the middle of the night in Germany right now. 지금 밤 아니죠? 수단, 그리고 마닐라, 인도. Oh, first question. Michael, Jeff, uh, uh, Kumbre or Achumbre asks, what is Biboing in Korean? Um, Biboing in Korean is Biboing. Okay, I have my screen set up here. Biboing. Biboing. Or, yeah, so this is my biggest, one of my biggest passions. I've, I've done it for more than 15 years. So you know that it's my hobby. Joel, uh, I will greet more people a little later on. Today, we're going to be going over some sentence patterns that we have in this book, 1,100 short and useful Korean phrases for beginners. And I know that we just released it recently, so not many people already have this book in their hands. So you don't have to have it right now with you uh, to study with this live class. I'm going to actually write the phrases, the sentence patterns on the screen so you can practice with me, okay? All right, the first sentence pattern that we're going to use to practice together is, okay, this one. 이가 좋아요. I'm gonna write it down over here on the screen as well. Uh, 이 좋아요 or 가 좋아요. Perfect. By the way, can you hear me all right? And can you see everything clearly? Is this reversed? Let me know if there are any inconveniences uh, for you during this live class. All right, let me just check. <laughs> 선생님 비보잉도 보여주세요. Uh, yeah, you can go to my Instagram or YouTube to see me, see um, my younger self doing some moves. <laughs> Okay. All right. Everybody can hear me clearly and see me well. Perfect. Um, sometimes the picture might be a little bit frozen due to the internet connection, but um, if you wait a little bit, um, it'll work again. 좋아요. 잘 들려요. All right. <laughs> so, 이 좋아요, 가 좋아요. Um, when you say 좋아요, so by the way, if you don't have any good sentences that you can come up with, just type whatever I'm typing on the screen and it'll be good practice enough, right? 좋아요. Just type 좋아요 10 times and people coming into the chat right now will think that you're saying 좋아요 about this class. Mm. Okay, so 좋아요 means it's good. 좋다 is the dictionary form for to be good or mm, to like, depending on the context. So, 좋아요. Is it my laptop 
kind of moving. I'll try to type more softly. Okay, 좋아요. And when you want to say that something is good, like about uh, an object or a person, about this class, about talk to me in Korean, you can say so and so 가 좋아요 or so and so 이 좋아요. And if the noun that you want to describe ends with a consonant, like, um, for example, ice, okay, next line, please, ice cream. If you look here, it ends with a mium, right? Ice cream. You have a consonant. We call that patim. The last consonant of a syllable is patim because it's patida, it's su supporting kind of from below the syllable, right? So, yeah, you can say 방탄소년단 too. 방탄소년단, which is the Korean name for BTS, which I'm sure you all know if you're an army. Um, so 방탄소년단 ends with neon here with a consonant. So you put 이 좋아요, the first one, 이 좋아요. You can't say 아이스크림 가 좋아요, 방탄소년 가 좋아요. It's an easy mistake to make. And it's okay to make that mistake. People will still understand you. So, yeah. 라이브 수업 이 좋아요. Yeah, perfect. 좋아요. What do you like? What is good to you? Tell me. Okay. 좋아요. YouTube is telling me my connection is unstable, but I'm sure it'll reconnect very quickly. All right. So whenever um, you want to say that something is good, you can say 좋아요. Oh, Jtrix, 소주가 좋아요. 소주가 좋아요. 고기가 좋아요. Yeah, so I said that if your noun ends with a consonant, you have to say 이 좋아요. But if it doesn't end with a consonant, it's like 친구, 소주, 커피, uh, where, a 고기, you put 가 좋아요, like that. 날씨. Today's weather, by the way, in Seoul, I wish I could show you. It's I can show you if you want, but um, yeah, it's amazing. 날씨가 진짜 좋아요. All right. Awesome. I'll give you 30 seconds to write your next sentence using 가 좋아요, and I'll give you some more examples and move on to the next pattern that we can use. Uh, 한국어가 좋아요, 떡볶이가 진짜 좋아요. 남준 좋아요. 남준. You can say 남준 이 좋아요 or 남준 씨가 좋아요 too. Mm -hmm. 송혜린. 송혜린. I have a lot of time to learn Korean due to self-quarantine here in Malaysia. I think that's the case for a lot of people around the world. Um, I hope the situation is resolved as quickly as possible everywhere. Uh, 선생님, 저는 K-pop 아이돌 세븐틴이 좋아요. Is this a correct sentence? Yes, it's a great sentence. 저는 K-pop 아이돌 세븐틴이 좋아요. 선생님이 좋아요, 강아지가 좋아요. Okay. Oh, we have a 싫어요 sentence. And the example that came up in the chat is 코로나가 싫어요. Yeah. I think a lot of uh, coronavirus ga shiroyo. I think a lot of people are saying that right now. Yeah, me too. Okay. 날씨 보여주세요. 날씨. Can I show you? I'll check. I have to pull up the blind. Uh, yeah. Anyway. 날기가 좋아요. Perfect. Let's move on to the next sentence pattern that we can use together. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. How about this one? Okay, where is why? 그렇게 is like that, in such a way, where? And 아요 or 어요 or 여요, but technically you can almost always say 해요. So, 왜 그렇게 so and so? Um, okay, before I answer this question, I have a question that I wanted to answer. 독한 거지, 독한 거지, 독. So it's the same as tok han. Um, I have to actually 
to the space here. Tok han goya. It's the same. Um, so and so han goji, I did that. So and so han goya, I did that. When you put ji, you are assuming the other person would agree uh, with what you were saying. So tok is usually kakao tok, because kakao tok is the, the dominant messenger app in Korea that everybody is using. And um, so tokada is like do talk, do kakao talk, send a message on kakao talk. So yeah, I messaged you on kakao talk. That's the meaning of the sentence. So that's, uh, yeah, we kuroke. So we kuroke is why so and so like that. Um, we kuroke sengakeo, I'll type that. All right, I, I mean, I don't have to even tell you to make your own sentences. You guys are already, you know, doing it. So that's good. Why do you think like that? Why do you think so? What makes you say or think that? If you are alone in your room and nobody is, you know, upset that you're practicing out loud, Perfect. Again, where is why? Very similar, right? Why? Where? Why? Where? So, 그렇게 크게, 크게 is loudly or in a big manner, big size, 크게. 크게 and 크게 말하다 is to talk loudly. 왜 그렇게 크게 말해요? These days, people, uh, you know, always have something in their ears and when you talk to them, they will be like, 네? Because they're listening to something. 왜 그렇게 크게 말해요? All right, let's read some of your sentences. 왜 그렇게 귀여워요? Why are you so cute? Uh, 왜 그렇게 안 먹었어요? Okay, okay. So this is a good one. So when, when you want to say, when you see someone who hasn't eaten a lot, when they should have, you can say, 왜 그렇게 조금밖에 안 먹었어요? Or you're still at the table with the person, and you can say, 왜 그렇게 조금밖에 안 먹어요? Because the meal is obviously still going on. 왜 그렇게 조금밖에 안 먹어요? Why do you eat so little? 왜 그렇게 조금밖에 안 먹어요? 조금 is a little. 밖에 is outside. 밖에 plus 안 is only. Like, outside of this, there's nothing. Only this. 조금밖에 안 먹어요. Why do you only eat a little bit like that? Okay? Mm -hmm. 왜 그렇게 한국어 잘하는지 궁금해요. I wonder why you speak Korean so well. <laughs> oh, when you are accusing someone of something or when you are complaining, you can easily change this to 왜 이렇게, 왜 이렇게. 왜 이렇게 조금밖에 안 먹어요? Or, 왜 이렇게 공부를 안, 안 해요? Okay, 왜 이렇게? All right, 왜 이렇게? <웃음> 어, 서혜진, 필리핀은 왜 이렇게 덥지? I'll write that. Um, so, as we do more and more live classes like this, I think we will have some um, protocols, some things that we always do. And here's the first one that I want to introduce to you. When I am quoting one of your sentences, I will use the quotation marks, okay? So that you can distinguish my own sentences and uh, the other ones, okay? Perfect. Ve kroke, ve iroke. Did you guys understand this correctly? Oh, so yeah, there, uh, okay, I, Aya asks, is there a lesson on this in the grammar lessons in the essential courses, right? By the way, if you're new to our website or channel, go to talktomeinkorean.com. You will see all the information about our channel, about our site. And there, if you sign in, 
you will see the learning center. There will be the essential courses. And we don't have this exact pattern, meguro ke so and so, in the grammar lessons because they teach individual parts, right? But this book puts those things together. And that's why we are introducing these uh, commonly used collocations and sentence patterns. But you do find all the elements in the grammar lessons. Aha. Uh -huh. This one is good. Lu Jem says, Chon, and where, where is it? <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, I saw it. I lost it. I lost it. But I'll just recall it from memory. Lujem asks, 저는 왜 그렇게 바보예요? This is the sentence that you wrote, um, but it's better to use 이렇게 because 이, 이렇게 means like this, and you're talking about yourself, which is closer to you than to the other people, so you have to say 이렇게, 저는 왜 이렇게 Say you're not directly asking someone, you're asking yourself too. So I think the best way to say, why am I such an idiot? Why am I such a fool? Is, 저는 왜 이렇게 바보일까요? 저는 왜 이렇게 바보일까요? Is a good, <laughs> good sentence to say about this kind of situation. Um, Sangha Mitra Roy asks, is there any Talk to Me in Korean lessons on verbs? Yes, we have many, many lessons on verbs. Actually, many of our lessons, online lessons in the essential courses in our curriculum are about verbs. And we also have a separate book on Korean verbs. So check out our website and the store section especially and go for the verbs book, okay? Perfect. Good question, Euphorian. Um, Sam, why is there no space between 조금 and 밖에? Great question, 조금 밖에. Why is there no space? 조금 is a word on its own, 밖에 is a word on its own, and 밖에 is also commonly used when you say outside, like 밖에 눈이 와요. It's snowing outside. It's not here. It's quite warm these days. It's 20 degrees Celsius. I think today, very, very warm. I didn't need a jacket today. So anyway, 밖에, that's outside. 밖에, 날씨가 좋아요. 저 밖에 있을게요. I'll be outside. I'll be waiting outside. 저 밖에서 기다릴게요. But in this case, you have to put them together. This is the official rule, the official grammar rule. 띄어쓰기 규칙, okay? Spacing rule. Tida is to put a gap between something. Sida is to write. So spacing, kutsik rule. Um, you put them together when you're using it like this to mean only. So an In that case, you have to put them together. But when you say um uh, uh 밖에, outside of the building, you put them separately. But when you say there are only buildings, 건물밖에 없어요. There are no, there are no trees. There are no, there's no nature. Only buildings. It's a concrete jungle. You can say 건물밖에 없어요. They are both correct, but only in different situations. Okay. Perfect. Let me read some comments. Uh, Niak Shi says, please save this video for us to watch later. I can't watch this right now as I don't have faster Wi-Fi, even though I want to. Thank you so much for the lessons. Talk to me in Korean. Yes, this video will be saved. From now on, all the live chats, live classes that we do on YouTube will be saved on our YouTube channel. So you can watch them later. And also, if you are joining just right now, you will uh, you'll be able to see the time codes for the topics that I cover after the live chat has been saved and encoded on YouTube. Okay. Uh, let me read some more comments and answer some more questions. 
Can you post your notes somewhere after this live? Maybe Twitter? OK, I'll, I'll find a way. Um, OK. Why do you use Gaio? Perfect, OK. Before I go on to the next phrase in this book, um, all right, I already chose one. I'll answer your question about Gaio. Mm. So when you ask a question, do I move this way or this way? OK, this, is, <laughs> this takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm, hope, I'm intending to go this way in the screen, but I'm going this way. Anyway, um, when you ask a question to someone, you can ask, like, 이거 뭐 예요? What is this? 내일 뭐 해요? You know, those are direct questions. But when you are asking questions about, you know, something that you can answer as well, you put 가 to make the question a little bit softer. So for example, 오늘 며칠 예 date. What's today's date? What's the date today? 오늘은 3월 20일이에요, 한국어로. But this can sound like you are asking the other person for the information a little too directly, 오늘 며칠이에요, which is fine. But if you are just wondering out loud, which, are, you know, which can be common, 오늘 며칠일까요? So you use 일까요 to ask yourself at the same time as you're asking the other person. So for example, 경은 씨는 왜 어, 화 났을까요? 경은 씨는 왜 화났어요? These two sentences have very different connotations. Uh, 왜 화났어요? You are asking the other person because you have no idea why 경은 is angry or upset. But 화났을까요? It's like, let's think together. Let's figure it out together. So the Weight distribution is kind of even. 그래서 쓰는 거예요. 이해하셨을까요? <laughs> OK. Ian Isaac, um, your English is on point. Where did you learn English? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I learned it here in Korea. It took me a long time, but uh, and I'm also still trying to improve it. but. I hope that uh, just, I don't want to brag about it all the time, but I answer this question on purpose because I want to give people um, a better idea of what you can do, what you can achieve in terms of lang language learning, even without le uh, learning that language in the country where it's spoken. I've never lived in a country where English is spoken. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. Exact same thing with Korean. OK. Um, Aparna, Malesh, your hoodie is awesome. Thank you. How many exclamation points did you put? 느낌표, by the way, 느낌표 is an exclamation point. 물음표 is a question mark. 느낌표, 30개, 30? Anyway, thank you. I like it. Um, all right. Perfect. Yeah, I see that you guys are also typing um, some of the words that I have put on the screen. And I also saw on Instagram and Twitter, you guys, like some of you all already have a setup for these live classes, which is amazing. 정말 좋은 생각인 것 같아요. It's a good idea. Like you because we will be doing this regularly, you will have to see my face quite often for the next few days. So please get used to that. <laughs> I hope you are already. So prepare a notebook if you can, that you can use for every live class that you join with us. Eun Dong Park, your foreign minister has fantastic English too. She's amazing. I think she's amazing too. I'm a big fan of her. Uh, all right. Let's move on. I will answer some more questions uh, later. 
this, by the way, we're go going over the contents of this book, which I don't think many people have with them yet. Do you have this book already? If you do, you might, must have ordered it really, really early on. But anyway, um, this is pattern, do you see it? 71, 71. Uh, 으면 안 돼요. 안 돼요. 안 돼요 is one of the first Korean phrases that my little one, my little boy, boy number two, Yuri, you uh, learn to say 안 돼요, 안 돼요. Because it's funny, he, he speaks in 반말 to everyone, uh, to his uh, brother, Jun, my firstborn, uh, his mom, my wife, everyone, but he speaks 존댓말 to me. In his little brain, I think he, he, he thinks that I'm older, which I am. But he says, 안 돼요, 아빠, 안 돼요. Like when I'm trying to tidy up the living room, which is full of toys, or uh, when something doesn't work, he says, 아빠, 이거 안 돼요. 안 돼요, you know. 안 돼요 means, 안 돼요 comes from 되다. 되다 means to become or something works, okay? 안 되다, 안 되다. Internet, 안 돼요. The internet doesn't work. Or, internet, 쓰면 안 돼요. If you use the internet, you, it's, it doesn't work. It's, it's, you know, not a good idea. 으면 안 돼요. Okay, so, let me go over the sentences really quickly. 거짓말 하면 안 돼요. I think Kyungha covered something similar to this earlier today, this morning, so I will keep it short. 거짓말 하면, if you say, uh, I think she covered 으면 돼요, right? You can just do this, but this is kind of different. 거짓말 하면, if you lie, it's a no-no, you know? 안 돼요, it's not good. You shouldn't lie. Or, 벌써 자면 안 돼요. Talk to me in Korean live class. Live swap. By the way, live class, you can say live swap. Live swap 한단 말이에요. Talk to me in Korean is doing a live class. 벌써 자면 안 돼요. Just one more. Ah, this one. Uh, sentence 777, lucky numbers, 777, um, 안 하면 안 돼요. If you don't do it, 안 돼요. So you cannot not do it. You cannot not do it. All right, that's it. Let me read some more comments and answer some more questions. Perfect. Ian. Hey, Hyunwoo, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? Uh, Vivian McDonald, are you still shipping books? Yes, we are. And we put up uh, a few uh, posts on Instagram and Twitter. And also, if you go to our store uh, of the website, you can see a huge banner about uh, regarding the shipping status. We are only offering the fast shipping method because Every day, uh, our shipping team goes to the post office and we check the post office's website, the Korean Post, Korea Post's website. And there are many changes every day in terms of um, regular mail being able to be shipped to certain countries or not. So, but through fast shipping, which is done through DHL and EMS, depending on the country, everything's very secure. And if you actually order like three, four books, it's cheaper than standard shipping. So yeah, we are still shipping books, hundreds of them every day. Um, yeah, today as well. Hundreds of our books are flying out tonight at 10 p.m. through DHL's airplane. So yeah, thank you for using our books. Perfect. Um, Nelsha90, you're learning us Korean. Uh, is on uh, on another level. Teacher, you are a great productive type. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I want. I want you to feel like you are making a productive use of your time because, you know, everybody has 
a million other things they can rather do instead of watching a language lesson, which is not as enticing maybe on YouTube as some other videos that are funny, but you guys are doing great. You are inching forward little by little. 조금씩 조금씩 앞으로 나아가고 있어요. That's amazing. Toki me asks, will you do a video about onomatopoeia? That's a good idea. I'll do one one of these days during the live classes. Okay. Perfect. Um, Kion Hyung uh, asks, in what situation will you use a verb 을 거예요, 을 겠어요? Mm -hmm. Okay. 을. Mm. So this is the question. I'll briefly answer it. Um, depending on whether you are talking about your future plan or your assumption, it's a little bit different, but I'm assuming that you're talking about your assumption about something. So uh, or let's say there's a cup that has some steam coming out of it, okay? I have a cup. 물, 물. 물좀 마실게요. I'm gonna have to add the time code for Hyunwoo drinks water at 31 minute, minutes, minutes, um, 50 seconds. But anyway, 을 거예요. When you have a cup with some steam coming out of it, you can say 뜨거울 거예요. 뜨거울 거예요. It'll be hot if you touch it or when you touch it. 뜨거울 거예요. You're saying that it'll be hot in the future when you do the action of touching it. But you're also saying you assume it'll be hot. 뜨거울 거예요. I think it'll be hot. I think it's hot. At the same time, somebody holds it and you're like, they're like, ah, ah, like that. And then you can say 뜨겁겠어요. 뜨겁겠어요. Or 힘들겠어요. 어렵겠어요. It must be hard. It must be difficult. So, 을 거예요 is a more casual, lighthearted, more neutral way of, ah, I think it'll be, I think it is. But 겠어요 is, I think it's uh, more about something that's happening right now. Yeah. And it must be is a good translation of 겠어요. I hope this was a clear explanation. Uh, Aparna, my phone is telling me the sale has ended. Uh, we ha we are having a spring sale for two weeks, uh, um, and the sale has not ended. It's the, all the prices have already been adjusted. So if you go and order anything, it's already be dis discounted. You don't have to put in a coupon code or anything like that. And make sure that you are on our website, not somewhere else, like talktomeinkorean.com, and you will see it. Okay, Park ji hello. Hello. All right. Okay, let me scroll down a little more. And. Triple something. You know, I have only studied grammar before and don't know any vocabulary or phrases, any advice for or resources uh, that can be helpful with uh, how, uh, how to get started. Well, the first thing that you need to do is start or get into the habit of writing in Korean more often about what you want to say. Social media is a great place. Follow some people that you like, like Korean actors, actresses, singers, BTS, and then start writing comments in Korean and you will have good and easy inspirations for what you want to be able to say in Korean. 한국어로 어떤 말을 하고 싶은지 생각이 쉽게 날 거예요. And then look it up. Just keep looking things up. And if you want to study with books, you can get our books on vocabulary. Just go to our site and click, tick the vocabulary category and you will see a bunch of books that we have. Or you can go to our site and tick the vocabulary category on the courses and you will see a lot of uh, vocabulary courses. And here on YouTube too, we have many vocabulary lessons, but I think what's more important is to have uh, um, 
something that you want to say. If you, this is um, something that I did when I first started taking English classes in middle school. The first thing that the teacher told me to do was to write down like 20 English words without thinking. Just write the first, I still remember, N-O-T, not. I wrote not 2,000 times on a piece of paper. It has to be on the same piece of paper, like in small font, so that I will remember it. But they didn't tell me how to make a sentence with it. So it didn't stick until I started actually forming sentences about what I want to say. Mm, 그리고, OK. Any tips on translating long sentences you hear? I mostly forget the first part of the sentence because I focus too hard on the verb ending. Well, mm, it's, it's more, more like stretching. You have to be comfortable with sentences that are this long and then slightly you know, increase the dose that you can take in. You can't just tackle a super long sentence from the beginning. If it's too long, yeah, just forget about the sentence. Okay, that's the most realistic advice I can give you. Okay, all right, here's another question. Uh, and I'll answer that question. I will introduce, how many, how many patterns did I introduce? I want it to be a little more spontaneous with you guys, so I wasn't counting. Okay, 면 안돼요. 왜 이렇게? 왜 그렇게? 좋아요. Perfect. So I'll introduce uh, two more and then call it a day. But we still have some time. I'll answer this question. So, a uh, chuseo or a uh, chuseo is please do something. Mm, kidario chuseo. Kidario chuseo. Please wait. Yeah, simple. Kidarida is to wait. Kidario chuseo. Kidario chuseo. Jamshiman kidario chuseo. If you say jamshiman kidario chuseo, it's perfect. It's already perfectly polite and formal. You don't have to change it to make it more formal. 잠시만 기다려주세요. Uh, but depending on how you say it, it can, you know, sound rude. 잠시만 기다려주세요. If you sound angry. But with these endings, it's almost impossible to sound rude because they are super, super formal. 잠시만 기다려주세요. You change this part to 주십시오, which is like announcement like 주십시오, 잠시만 기다려 주십시오. You can hear this uh, maybe in front of a, a building where there's an announcement about a ride at an amusement park maybe, uh, or 잠시만 기다려 주십시오. You hear it on the line when you call some customer service, phone call, uh, phone service, 잠시만 기다려 주십시오. I hear this all the time. 지금 모든 상담원이 통화 중이오니 잠시만 기다려 주십시오. All the agents are call on the call on the on the line, so please wait a little bit. Or 기다려 주시기 바랍니다. 바라다. Enter. 바라다 is to wish for something, to want. 주시기 바랍니다. Uh, we wish that you would do this. We hope that you. Do this, okay? So this is perfectly fine, a little more formal, even more formal. All right, which mouse, okay, here. Michael Golden um, asks tips on pronunciation and intonation. Mm, of course, I could give you tips. We have some videos, type, um, study hack on or study hacks on our YouTube channel and you'll see some videos on these tips but I think practicing recording your voice listening to it is the best all right let me introduce two more phrases I'll do I'll do a long one and a short one okay 혹시 
this is a short one. 혹시 so and so 보세요, pattern 76 of this book. 혹시, this time I'll read everything, okay? 혹시, I'll type 혹시 first. 혹시, 혹시 is what we're talking about. 혹시 바쁘세요? Are you busy by any chance? 혹시 지루하세요? Are you bored by any chance? 혹시 어디 아프세요? Are you sick by any chance? Or is a part of your body hurting? Or are you hurting by any chance? 혹시 uh, 어디 가세요? Are you going somewhere by any chance? 혹시 저 아세요? <laughs> if someone is talking to you like you know, as if you were their friend, you can say, you can listen for about 10 minutes and then say, 혹시 저 아세요? By any chance, do you know me? And then you're eating, eating with someone and they put down the spoon too quickly, too soon. 혹시 벌써 배부르세요? 혹시, 혹시, by any chance, it's a very good sentence starter. 혹시 누구 기다리세요? Why is the screen dimming? Okay. 혹시 누구 기다리세요? Are you by any chance waiting for someone? 혹시 여기 자주 오세요? By any chance, do you come here often? All right. 혹시 무슨 고민 있으세요? Do you have any concerns by any chance? 혹시 노래방 자주 가세요? Do you go to the singing room often by any chance? Okay? Yeah, this is 혹시 so and so is here. All right. Um, Ian says, thank you for taking the time to answer my question, Hyunwoo. I am no longer a stranger to the language whenever I come across uh, uh, whether a Korean drama or a movie. Great. Talk to me in Korean, unparalleled Korean teacher. Thank you. That's a long hashtag, but I like it. Thank you. 감사합니다. Yeah. I'm no longer a stranger to the Korean language. This is a very good thing to be able to say and a good mindset, a good goal for all learners. 한국어 저 잘해요. If you could say this, it's awesome. But 한국어 저좀 저, 음, 알아요. I know a little bit. I know some Korean. That's good too. 한국어 어, 어느 정도 알아요. 어느 정도. 어느 정도 is to a degree, to an extent. You know? Yeah, 어느 정도 알아요. I know Korean to an extent. That's a very good thing to be able to say. All right. Uh, Anissa, please explain Nunji. Nunji or Nunji. It's a uh, weather. Not the weather outside, but weather. Let me just take a quick uh, break and show you the weather outside, uh, if I may. <laughs> All right. This is the screen I'm using. And this is the park side of our office. It'll take roughly two hours for me to finish this, pulling up the blind. <laughs> Good arm workout, or shoulder or back workout. Oof. That's the weather outside today. Do you see it? Kids playing, kids were playing, but they're gone. <laughs> Let me go back to where I was earlier. Okay. Am I exactly back where I was? Amazing. Okay. Ninji is not the weather. It's weather. Whether you do something or not. So, 아는지, 모르는지. Whether somebody knows it or not. Or... 좋은지, 나쁜지, whether it's good or bad. 싼지, 비싼지, whether it's cheap or expensive. Okay? All right. Let me pick a long pattern and then 
Mm, this is a good one. And then I'll call it a day after this portion of the lesson. Perfect. By the way, if you enjoy this so far, please spread the word. Please tell your friends who are interested in the Korean language, learning it, and tell them that there are live classes almost every day. I mean, it um, not almost every day, every single day, two times almost every day. Okay. This one is 으려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 어떻게 is how. 해야 돼요 is I have to do something. 으려면 if I want to do something or if I am going to do something. So I'll write the sample sentences. I need something to hold the book open. Okay. 예약하려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? So, if I want to make a reservation, what should I do? What should I do in order to make a reservation? I'll just type the beginning part because 어떻게 해야 돼요 is the same. 반품하려면, what should I do in order to return it? For the first time, 안 넘어지려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? This is something that my son asked me um, not long ago when he was trying to ride his bike with the without without the 보조 바퀴, the side wheels. Yeah, 안 넘어지려면. So you know you have to steer in the way that you are about to fall, right? So that you are you regain balance. 균형을 다시 찾으려면 넘어지는 쪽으로 핸들을 돌려야 되잖아요. So, 안 넘어지려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 빨리 외우려면, if, uh, or in order to memorize something quickly, 어떻게 해야 돼요? What should I do? All right. So, that's the fifth phrase or pattern, sentence pattern that I want to introduce from this book today. And I will do five more sentence patterns with, from the same book tomorrow at 9 p.m. Korean Standard Time. Please calculate what time it'll be for you, uh, whether it'll be today or tomorrow, um, and join us, join us again. But before I go, let me read some more comments. Um, e Aindra, hello, teacher. T G, 안녕하세요, 현우 선생님. Uh, 사 쿠키 안녕하세요 선생님. Okay, 미나선 supporting wheels. Okay, that's 보조 바퀴. And then, uh, Marina, almost 2 a.m. here, but I can't stop watching. I'm learning so much. That's that's good. Thank you. I hope I'm not disturbing your um, sleep cycle. What time is the lesson for each day? Please go to our, we'll post it on the community tab of our channel too. But uh, for now, you can go to our Instagram and you'll see the time uh, schedule class schedule for the next two weeks. Uh, yeah. Sophie, I love these live lives, um, live chats. Uh, thank you so much. Ah. Excuse me, Jimini asks, when you say honorific term, do you mean in a more polite way or a respectful way? Hmm. Polite and respectful. Well, uh, there's a difference. 존댓말, in general. 존댓말 um, is just adding yo or nida at the end of your sentences to sound formal or to sound not casual, not informal, but it doesn't make you automatically sound polite or respectful. So I think polite or respectful applies more to your, your mannerism, your, your behavior, your, I guess, attitude. So I would suggest just use the term honorific purely for the sentences and also 존댓말 purely for the sentences, if I made myself clear. 
about that. Uh, Salsa, I love this live stream. Thank you. Milika, Milis, Milika or Melissa, when do we use ng? Um, you use it inside of words, uh, just like any alphabet letter. But if you just see this, maybe it's abbreviated from ng, depending on the person. OK. Uh, 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 uh. OK. 날씨가 진짜 좋아요. Yeah. OK. Commenting on uh, when I was showing you the weather. 일본어 말해요? 혹시 일본어 말해요? Are, is it a sample sentence using 혹시? <laughs> um, yes, I can speak Japanese. 日本語も 話せます. 長い間話せてないんですけれども、話すことはあまり難しくないです。uh, okay. Um, I don't, and the doctor told me all the good news, like everything's perfect, like perfect vision, perfect stomach, except I should, I should avoid spicy food. So <laughs> I will stay away. All right. <laughs> this is a good sentence. Feze uh, Olami. By any chance, do you love me? Okay. Let me scroll down a little more. Okay. Um, five hating or shading star. Tell me about Bulguhago and Moyangida, please. I will answer this question and uh, three more and go. Okay. Bulguhago. Uh, Bulguhago is uh, Edo Bulguhago. You you don't you you never see Bulguhago on its own like that. Always Edo Bulguhago, and it's in spite of. In, all right. in, or despite. Let's say despite. Despite. Um, um, 안 좋은 상황에도 불구하고. Despite the bad situation, or 그럼, 그럼 is like being like that or that status. So it's a set phrase. 그럼에도 불구하고. Just, just remember this one. 그럼에도 불구하고. 그럼에도 불구하고. Uh, I know it's a difficult phrase. 불구하다. Without um, even at this, even at things being that way, you don't give up. You don't give in, 불구하고. So even though it's a, an, an advanced phrase, people say it quickly, 그럼에도 불구하고. Just pretend to be a rapper, 그럼에도 불구하고, 그럼에도 불구하고. Quickly, and you'll be able to say it. Ah, Milica, it's a Serbian name. OK, 그럼에도 불구하고. And 모양이다. 모양이다, 모양 is shape or form. It's a shape, but also, it's part of a very common idiomatic phrase, 는 모양이다, or 은 모양이다. So, 둘이 어, 잘 아는 모양이에요. 모양, it seems like they know each other well. It seems like, so it's translated to uh, 모양이다. Can you speak Spanish? Yes, uh, I do. I have. I actually have. Uh, de hecho, tengo un Twitter en español también que se llama uh, Coreano conmigo, donde yo puedo uh, hacer Q&A. I don't know. Uh, no, no sé cómo cómo decir uh, Q&A en español. Q&A Q&A en español para ustedes or vosotros. Okay, uh, two more. It should be like that. All right, um, 
I will. I'm sorry if I don't get to answer everything, but um, I will answer this question and then call it a day. 거든요. Everyone, um, if you like a sample sentence that I write here, if you think it'll be useful for you, just type it. You can be taking notes in your notebook, uh, but you can type it in the chat too. You know, whatever works for you works. So 거든요 is providing background information. Like, why did you do that? Ah, so and so 거든요. Why did you not go to the concert? Ah, because I was busy 거든요, okay? Just providing context. Uh, so, for example, uh, somebody doesn't know what day of the week it is. 오늘 무슨 요일인지 몰라요. 왜 오늘 집에 있어요? 오늘 because it's Sunday. Voila! There you go. 오늘 일요일. For example. It means you know it's Sunday today. Why don't you ask? Uh, why don't you know? Or why do you even ask me? But 오늘 일요일이거든요. This is more 친절해요, more kind. You know, you're like, ah, you don't know the day of the week. 오늘 일요일이거든요. Ha ha ha. You know. So that's that. All right. So that's it for today, everyone. Oh, that's good. 아니거든요. So this is so if you <laughs> if you um, are talking to somebody in Korean and you want to just say that the other person is wrong, just keep saying this. Oh, you must be hungry. 배고프겠어요. 아니거든요. Like um, I told you. 아니거든요. You didn't tell me. You know. So 거든요. I I said that this one is more kind than this one, but yeah. Looking at this example, it doesn't always have to be more kind. Uh, you can provide some background information where the other person is wrong. That's great. This is what I, what I love about these like interactive sessions, conversations, because you know, as as a teacher, uh, you know, language instructor, we can you know have three cups of coffee and come up with lots of ideas, but there's always something that we're missing. 이렇게 학습자, 배우는 사람들이 생각해낼 수 있는 것들이 또 있어요. Guys, thank you so much. Um, I have to wrap up. And please join me once again tomorrow at 9 p.m. if you can. Um, tomorrow is Saturday in Korea. I will do another session tomorrow and then 7 a.m. Sunday morning in Korean Standard Time. But please, um, note, uh, please remember that I will be doing that from home, so I won't have these fan fancy things. I won't have this clean backdrop. I won't have, I, I might probably have something like this, but I won't have these lights, so it'll be a little bit more, more, I guess, low, low quality. <laughs> but I'll do my best, okay? I'll do, try to tidy up my room. Perfect. Thank you. I'll save, I'll press end stream and go um, do something else. 감사합니다. 내일 만나요. 안녕히 계세요.